Now I'm going to cover the topic of how to extract the recording from the hard drive onto a USB key. Typical reasons we be doing this is there's something of particular note that we want to, you know, either keep a record of or bring to the attention of the guardian, for instance, for instance. So what we're going to do here is I'll just come along and I'll right click. I'm going to click on the menu button here. I'll be just go directly into data and uh, back up here. So we can see here in terms of the start time, it specifies a date and a start time, obviously from midnight onwards and then uh, an end time here, which would be, you know, up as far, because it's still in the recording day here, it's just saying um, up towards the end of the day. Uh, so we can actually specify the times here and we can enter the data for the times that we want, okay? What we're gonna do here as well, we'll note is that we're extracting the information for all four cameras, right? So what I'll do here is I'm just gonna hit search. So we can see here, there's all these recordings, camera one, one, three, four, two, and certain uh, begin times and uh, uh, end times on it, okay? So there's a lot of sort of, um, you know, we had done recording here, we'll say, uh, so the blocks in these are quite small, uh, but um, normally we'd say they'd be in longer blocks, we'd say of half hour or whatever. So we can see the, the general extraction time here and, and, and a certain number of minutes, okay? So what I'm gonna do at this point is, I'm just going to say, uh, well, it's, uh, it's only camera one that I'm interested in. So I'll untick all of these and I'll go back to camera one and I'll do a search and I'll see all of the camera recordings that are there and I'll say it's this one here. I remember seeing from the playback that it was in this time slot here um, over this 12 seconds that it's out. So obviously this is a recording which we just stopped and started uh, because we're doing a lot of videos here. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll just click on this and I'll say backup. And it's asking me, where do I want to store it? So it's seen that the storage device is an 88 USB key and uh, the start and stop time here. And it's asking me to specify. So USB one just corresponds to the fact we're using the USB port in front of it. And it's asking me uh, what um, the size of the file is going to be just over one meg. So it's a tiny file. And then what we'll see here is we can save it in two uh, different formats. But we'll save it in AVI simply because it's much easier to play back in terms of a lot of media players can handle it and we can play it back directly on our media player on our PC, for instance. And I'll just click start here now and back up to su uh, su succeed. So if we removed our USB stick here, brought this to our PC, click play, we'll be able to play it back. So that's it.